I think I seriously underestimated the amount of clothing required for to uh, counteract the amount of work that I was doing. My, all my bundling didn't last too long. So welcome back to the off grid cabin, friends. It is chilly, about 33 degrees. It's supposed to be mostly sunny today, but it's mostly cloudy instead. It is, what is today, December the fifth I think it is all the leaves are pretty much gone 99% of them so I spent some time this morning getting all of them taken care of today is kind of just on my agenda as a um, I had a bunch of little stuff to wrap up before winter so that the cabin's more comfortable for us when we come up here getting all the leaves cleaned up and I gotta haul some firewood move some firewood around I'm gonna keep you guys with me for when dinner time comes. I got a nice steak I'm gonna cook out on the grill tonight for dinner with a jar of Rachel's home canned caramelized onions to go with it. So that should be pretty fun. And then this evening, once it gets dark, I've purposely saved this one for when it gets dark because there's only so much daylight now. I think like almost five o'clock it's getting dark here now, which is kind of stupid. But um, we're gonna build tonight a um, our shower in our bathroom that we have has never had a shower curtain ever since we've lived here and it's time it needs a shower curtain so I think after my third trip up here buying more parts things that I forgot I think I finally have all the parts that I need so we're gonna get that installed this evening and uh, yeah I'm just gonna keep taking you guys along on my day
So these are the vents for our propane refrigerator that we have in our cabin. And it doesn't work, it hasn't worked in like two years. And these things are basically like, underneath here is like wide open, cold air, cold air in the winter time, just floods in through there. It comes up right through where our stove is, where I cook my breakfast this morning and then under this fridge and it's just, it's cold. So I cut a couple pieces of that old door that came off of our shed. And I'm gonna see if I can't just temporarily kind of screw these things on here just to block this a little bit this winter. And then in the spring, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll roll up back in here and finally make the decision on what we're gonna do with this fridge. Am I gonna pull it out and try to repair it? Because it's really nice when it works or just pull it out and replace it with something else, maybe like a 12 volt fridge that'll run off of our solar setup. dog is like the cold-bloodedest thing ever. You wanna go in, buddy? What's up, buddy? Huh? Yeah. Say hi to everyone. Him, on the other hand, he doesn't get cold very easy. Unless say uh, gets his paws get cold sometimes, but he just wants to be where I am. One more thing we have to do every year about this time of the year, bring home all of our canned goods. They, um, chances are they would probably be okay, but we've read horror stories of people who leave their canned goods in their cabin and they freeze and something happens and they actually break. 
and then they come back in the spring and they have this giant mess that they gotta clean up. So I think I got it all. So that was pretty easy. Well, what we normally do is we, um, we'll just take this home and we'll put this box down in our basement and then next spring we'll bring the same stuff back here. And we should probably, some of this might be getting old. We should probably heat this up maybe and replenish it so that we can re-rotate it. I'll check one more spot down here. I think we're good though. Yeah, there's some oils and lard and different things in here, but yeah, so like from here, somewhere in here is where I want to have a shower curtain that connects around. And we have like a 45 degree angle to come this way, about two feet, another 45 degree angle to come back. So the angles are good. It's just like, you can't just buy something to fit this. So let me show you what I ended up going with and we'll see if I finally have all the right pieces that I need to get this installed today. So this is the stuff I went with. Plumbing pipe, black pipe. We have one of these little end pieces. I have about a one inch nipple here. I got a 40, I think this is a 45, and then a 24 inch piece, another 45. And this kind of looks gonna mount like this here and screw into this wood. And then head back the other way over there. I think it actually goes above the window if I remember right connects up here somewhere. All right, so here's the part I showed you earlier. That goes down to this, kind of shoots back towards that back wall right above the window. But this piece that I bought, this original piece was too short. I should have probably bought like an 18 or a 20 or something. So we needed these couplers. To connect on and now I'm going to so here's our end part that mounts to the wall I don't know if I need this one this one or this one I'm hoping one of those will work so I need to hold it up there and see which one's gonna fit the best oh, it's a little too long Yeah, I was saying earlier, this is like literally like the fourth trip to the cabin to try to put this thing together because I keep having the wrong parts. Ah, that's the one I think. Yeah, that's going to turn out nice. Okay, kind of started. Started enough to hold it. Oh no, come on. Here I pick it up with my toe. I think it turned out great. My wishes, if I if I could have some wishes, the whole thing could go a little bit lower, like here would probably be better. But then I run into this window problem and I'd have to do like some major redesign to shift around that. Like, I think this piece would have to be significantly shorter to shift it all kind of back. And then I'm not gonna redo it. This is gonna be what it is. I wish that, it's another reason I wish it was a little shorter is the inside shower curtain only hangs down like into the basin like two inches. So I'm gonna have to look online and see if they make something called a uh, 
Jeez. <laughs> Extra long shower curtain. So if you guys know if they make them, let me know because I'm gonna be searching for one. All right, for dinner, like I mentioned earlier, I got a nice big old ribeye steak. It's been marinating for about two days, I think. What I've been marinating my steaks in lately is, um, you know that Montreal steak seasoning? They make a Montreal steak seasoning marinade. It just comes in a little pouch. I think it costs like $1.50 or something. And uh, I just throw it in a Ziploc bag with a, one of those little pouches. They'll easily do two steaks. And I'm gonna heat up these onions. And I'm just putting them on a piece of foil because I'm being really cheap when it comes to dishes this weekend. I'm trying to use as little dishes, little amount of dishes as possible. So far, I got one pair of tongs and a cup that I have used that I have to wash before I leave. So, oh yeah, and things are good and hot. We'll heat up the onions. There's a long day and if you guys, if you're still watching this, if you're still here at the end of this video, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Every, every person who views our video, we, we appreciate every view. They, they all count in our opinion because you're basically giving your time to spend your time with us. And so we really do appreciate that. Each and every one of you. So I'm going to Chow down my dinner. See how it looks on the inside. I let it rest for a couple minutes, a little more cooked than I would I uh, wanted to, but so what's on the agenda for the rest of tonight? Um, I'm gonna try to get some packing done. I'm heading home tomorrow and I gotta head out relatively early, I think, because we're having, I mentioned in a video a while back about uh, a, a new roof on our barn and I think the contractor's coming on Monday to get started so we have a lot of stuff in the attic of the barn and I want to get it either moved or tarped so it doesn't get covered in in debris so that's on the agenda for Sunday afternoon so I need to get home at a re reasonable hour so tonight I'm gonna head down to the river get some water for my shower take a shower get myself clean do the dishes I decided to use real silverware for my steak tonight and uh, get working on some packing tonight and uh, maybe head to bed early and see you guys in the next video <laughs>